Now coming on to the returns to scale. When I say returns to scale, let's say there is a proportional increase in the input and with that proportional increase in the input, the proportional increase in the output remains the same. Then I say it's a constant return to scale. However, my proportional increase in the input, let's say, is lesser than the proportional increase in the output, which is much higher. Then I say there are increasing returns to scale. And finally, if my increase in the input is higher as compared to the increase in the output, I would say there are decreasing returns to scale. Now to understand this, you have an interesting Cobb Douglas production function that has been given. Now Cobb Douglas said that the uh, quantity of production function could be defined as the quantity 1 with the increase and the quantity 2 with the increase. Now this proportion of alpha and beta has to remain constant in order to have a constant return to scale. So let's say my return to scale I assume to be 100. The output that I finally want, the constant return is 100. Now if I say this alpha increases by 75%, in order to meet this alpha, beta would be declining and that would be 25%. So what I need to do is, I need to create a balance. So I can say if this is alpha, this would be 1 minus alpha that could be explained. And since then, we can create a balance between the two units or the two factors of production that are there. Also, if there is a scenario when alpha plus beta is less than 1, then I say there is a decreasing production or a decreasing return to scale that is demonstrated. Now, what all assumptions lie under returns to scale? There are two factors of production, two inputs that we are talking about, the land, uh, the capital and the labor. We are talking about a homogeneous labor, a perfect competition that exists. There are industrial variations and constant return turns to scale that are taken into consideration. So this is a very very important concept where we talk about returns to scale, Cobb Douglas production function, most important section under production and let's move to the cost.